Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today it's time to get cringy. I started my YouTube channel back in, was actually 2016 or even a bit earlier. Yeah, it was around 2016. Originally it was a joint channel with my sister called Dream Sisters Do. Comment down below if you were here for that because throwback but that was kind of just like random videos then in 2017 i did my first disney college program it was a uk version which is the cultural exchange program and i did some vlogs on that program which i haven't watched in years some of them i think i've only ever seen like one time because they're so cringy and i just i know that they're so badly edited and done i had like 200 subscribers at the end of my first program my second one i ended up getting like to a thousand and then i think it has my subscriber count has gone up with the quality of my content i'm just gonna say that so i'm kind of dreading this but today i'm gonna be reacting to the vlogs from my first program so 2017 and I don't know what to think about it. I, yeah, I, like I said, I literally haven't seen these in years. My friends who were on that program have watched them fairly regularly and they say they love them for the memories. I'm just, <sighs> I'm not ready. So let's just dive in. Let's not delay any further. I'm gonna put my headphones in so that I can do the audio. Gosh, okay, so I have a whole playlist and the first one is the Disney bucket list, but I don't really wanna watch that because uh -huh, I don't know, they're all gonna be bad, aren't they? Let's go the DCP tag. Let's just dive right in and see. I mean, the thumbnail's kinda cute, it's a bit boring, but let's give it a go. <laughs> this video is actually private, so if you're watching this, you're gonna get a little sneak peek at something that is no longer available. 737 views though, that's not, that's not bad. Hello everyone, welcome back to this series on my Disney Cultural Exchange program. Today Why is my voice so high? Is my voice like, program. I sound so like, hey everyone, welcome back. I sound like Sophia Lucia on Dance Mums. Nobody tagged me in this, um, but I saw it online and the questions looked like a fun kind of thing to do in the lead up. That's sad. Because I leave in less than a month now. Oh, I'm so excited. So anyway, let's get started with question number one. Why do I sound like I'm half asleep? I think I speak at like double the speed now. Was I slowing down deliberately for YouTube or was I just genuinely that slow? How did you hear about the program? I heard about the program back in 2012. I was actually at Disney World. I was in Magic Kingdom with my family and we were walking around Fantasyland. So I think we just asked someone who was working in custodial. That's enough of that. Let's just move on to the vlogs because I cannot be bothered. Oh, location reveal. My job at Disney World. 2,000 views? Why? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and this series on my Disney Cultural Exchange program. I I've got a bit more energy here, but I still am shockingly pale and my voice is so why is my voice like that? I'm so excited for this video because I can finally reveal where I'm going to be working this summer. For those of you who are new here, I'm doing the Disney Cultural Exchange Programme, which is one of their international college programmes. Okay, I do sound kind of cute, but like... Until August 31st. Yes, I was 21 here. Arrival, I see my room about 15. And where I'm going to be staying. And the park that I will be in is... Hollywood Studios, which I'm so excited about because it's such a cool park and there is so much to do. Ha! <laughs> there is so much to do. I can tell you at the time I was not actually that excited. When I got Hollywood Studios, I was like, that's the worst one. Like, there's nothing to do there. So that was a lie. Like, at the time, it was like, okay, Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, Toy Story, some shows. There was nothing to do. And I can tell you I was not excited about it. So this is fake. And I can't wait to go ride Midway Mania before I have my shift or Rock and Roller Coaster or Tower of Terror. To be fair, I did ride Rock and Roller Coaster a lot before I went on shift. I would be like, hey, I'm just gonna go casually ride it, get a character cookie, clock in. See a show. Oh, I'm just so excited. The part of the park that I'm gonna be working in is the theatre district. So that includes the Tattoo Wine Traders store. Tattoo Wine. Tatooine, love. <laughs> I'm really not good with Star Wars, but still it's really cool. The Frozen Fractal Shop outside the Frozen sing-along, which I'm so excited for because I love Elsa and Anna. That's and all true. things Frozen and Princessy. I also found out where I'll be living. I will be staying in Patterson Court, which looks so cool from the photos. It wasn't my first choice. My first choice was the Commons. That's so weird. I don't even remember that my first choice was the Commons. Patterson all the way. I was in Patterson for both programs, and honestly, 
best place. Everyone says it's like the retirement home one, but what do you want after a 12 hour shift? Do you want to come home and like party it up? No, I wanted to sleep. Actually, no, first I would come in and Lana would often be like waiting up when I would come in, Lana was my roommate in my first program. And I would actually walk straight in and ahead of me was the fridge. So I would go get a few scoops of, not a few scoops, a few bites of ice cream. We got like Halo Top. So I would get some Halo Top and then I would get some crisp, my favorite beetroot chips that they had out there. And then I would go into our room and Lana would be there like, just waiting up to be like, oh, so you decided to come in? <laughs> and then we have a little like post-work chat and those are some of our like fun times just chilling in our room together. I missed that, okay, sorry. That's a, that's a real sideline. It's all summer long and it's still really surreal, but I'm just so excited to get out there now and get my class member badge and get working and just start this adventure. Okay, let's go to the first vlog, moving to Disney World. 5,000 views. Okay, that's quite a lot. We're oh, on the Rebecca flight. and Lucy. Oh. <laughs> that is so bright. That's better. Um, no, it's dark. It's still here. <laughs> and we board. No, we don't board. We take off in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 and then we went straight to the wall and took photos, of course. I actually remember we got off the plane and we went straight to take photos at that wall, the classic wall. And immediately I was like, yep, I'm with the right kind of people. They get me. <laughs> like, they know we had to get photos by this wall. Magical Express. Oh. We were definitely the most excited people on that. So strange. Oh, me and Fee and the store together. <laughs> Gallery. Oh, they have no water. Learn to draw the water. Wow. That's something I need. It's gonna take all my willpower not to just buy about 10 mugs on this program. Hey, this is all out of focus. Fun fact, my camera that I used on my first program was this like huge DSLR. So I was having to vlog and it had like a weird autofocus. So it was made obviously for like photography, not videoing like at an angle. So I had so much footage that was like blurred and then it was also just like, really heavy, but I didn't really know how much I'd be vlogging. So I don't wanna get like a specific flip camera just for that so the quality was not the best but I made it work here we go moving into Patterson Court oh and then we went to Walmart that trip was so overwhelming oh my god and I went straight to like the cookie section I was like oh my god special Oreos we got red velvet Oreos had to be done like three dollars in the UK these would be like 15 some things never change oh, no. this is so trying to fit the bedding <laughs> And Lana is having some issues. She fell over a second ago. <laughs> Imagine we got that on the camera. God, that wouldn't have been the best introduction. <laughs> My bed is fitted. Through there is the quilt. I'm literally just lying on the bed filming this because I'm so tired. <laughs> and through there is our lovely shower curtain and bath mat, which coordinates very well. No, I'm feeling emotional already. Me and Lana's room. Also, how weird would it be? I don't know how I would have reacted if I was like staying in a room with this girl for the whole summer and she just comes in straight off the bat and is like filming, vlogging while we're trying to set up a bed. Like good on Lana, I do remember though, as soon as we met each other, like she walked into the apartment and we'd only ever talked like over Facebook and immediately gave her a hug and I just knew I had good vibes from this girl. It turned out to be right, so. Oh, I miss our little room. Yeah, and then we went to Animal Kingdom Lodge and we went to Boma for dinner and it was like $50 each when we included the tip and the tax and we were like, cool, what have we just done? We're at Animal Kingdom, it's amazing. First is what I've ever been to Disney World and I'm so excited to have some amazing food I've been spoiled, but Boma. The start of me vlogging all my food. There's Lucy, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we With a knife and fork! Me and Fee's first food date. I would just be like, can you film me while I'm trying this for the first time? Can't hear me at all. <laughs> He's like, who is this girl? <laughs> Why are you here? It's actually projecting heat. The fire projecting. is actually projecting heat. <laughs> <laughs> the first of Fee's random comments. I would like make notes on my phone of all the silly things that Fee said. Still stands today. Okay, let's go for one when I've actually, oh, do I do traditions? What's that gonna be like? 6,000 views. God, the uh, camera is a little bit shaky, isn't it? Oh yeah, traditions. I was in traditions with Fee and Lucy, two girls who I'm still really good friends with now. She waited so long to get a picture of her neck. <laughs> I love how we literally, we're like slating each other when we've known each other for like four days. It's not going well. That's one of the best things about the program, I find. You instantly connect with people who, which wouldn't normally happen back home. Like I've never 
connected with people faster than those few days and we were posting all these photos i can imagine we all kept saying like everyone back home must be like they, they can't be as close as they seem immediately but we genuinely were like me and fee we slept in the same bed the first night and then we ended up working together and you know fast forward two years and we're staying at the port orleans riverside resort on like a whole week trip just the two of us to disney world and i still talk to fee every single day <sighs> no don't get emotional okay I was just so purely excited for traditions, like that day. And then we went straight to Magic Kingdom, which you have to do on your first day of your program. If you don't go to Magic Kingdom after you just had traditions, like... I'm sorry to say it, but you are doing your CP wrong. What is this, like, slant angle I'm doing? Was that on purpose? Probably not. My music! This is my first time using that music. Straight to the purple wall. I don't know why anyone tolerated me. I was just like a wannabe influencer. And now we're headed to get our hats embroidered. Lana should have graduated today. I literally sound like a baby. She's in the happiest place on earth, so it's all right. <laughs> I think what I do love about these is that we haven't really changed in the way we interact with each other. Like straight away, we were just super close and natural and real. There's one thing I will say about my vlogs, like it is real. I was never like putting on a front. Like I genuinely was having the best time. And these people were the best people. Hello. We're going to see Ariel. Please come to me. The human world is a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. We still do that all the time. That's so wholesome. Not wholesome, but like, that's so weird. That was the first day it happened. Like, that's when it started. To see happily ever after. Don't cry, Em, don't cry. So, we are about to see happily ever after for the first time. No cameras, no videos, just gonna soak in the moment. Probably gonna cry. Probably gonna cry. Probably gonna cry. We've cried. Gonna We've almost cried already. <laughs> Going well. Em, em. This is the end of the vlog. <laughs> I don't know what else. It's been an amazing day. Probably one of the best days ever, right? Yeah, definitely. I don't have had it any more classic. Okay, that wasn't like as horrific as I thought it was gonna be. Let's watch one more. Oh wow, I really didn't vlog a ton on this program considering like how long I was there. Oh my god, as if I did a four parts one day challenge video and it's only nine minutes long. My vlogs are so much longer now. Let me know, like what's your optimum length of vlog? I think like 20 minutes is great. It's like an episode of something, like a short episode. I preferably do like it a little bit on the longer side. I know some people like really long vlogs, like 50 minutes, but some people literally won't watch over 10. So let me know what your like favorite length of vlog is. Breakfast at 1900 Park Fair, nice short one. I'm so pale. Like, has my skin colour just changed that much? Or is that the camera? Oh, his hair is so long. I'm a Lena. We definitely don't belong here. Cut to a year later and I would stay there. Cut my discount. Oh, this was the first time I properly hung out with Lee. Like Lee was Fee's roommate and we did meet at Blizzard Beach, I think, or, I oh know it was Typhoon Lagoon. This was the first time we like properly hung out. And I remember we went to meet Winnie the Pooh and Lee cried and I was like, yeah, this is my kind of gal. Like someone who cried at the Pooh there, instantly gonna be friends. The only thing I will say, the lighting in 1900 is trash. Like it's all yellow, I don't like it. <gasps> oh no, I'm triggered. 
So back then I didn't really know if I had like issues kind of with egg. So I was just like, it was developing at the time. And I went kind of hard on the bread and butter pudding. And if you don't know, bread and butter pudding is just like bathed in egg before they bake it. So I had already had probably like way too much sugar for that time in the morning. And then I was like, actually one more bit of bread and butter pudding. It didn't sit well. Like it went in and I could just feel it there and it was gonna come back up. And I just sat there and I was like, I have many regrets. Um, this isn't good. So we ended up, like a few of us ate too much, but I actually went to the bathroom because I thought I was gonna throw up. Like I was this close. And then we ended up just like wandering around the resort for a bit because I was like, guys, I can't get on a bus right now. Like I will throw up if I have to be on moving transport. So that's the level of hard I go when I go to a Disney buffet. But I think it probably wasn't helped by the fact that I chose a lot of like eggy stuff. Yeah, you can see it's like waffles with egg, French toast with egg. Oh, feels so wholesome. I will say we had really good character interactions at 1900 Park Fair. I always just made people film me trying food. Again, something's never changed. Chine cheese grip. All out of focus. Oh, poo. I remember he had no one with him. We were like, we're going. Oh, there we go. Running over. Fee probably filming, doing a smashing job. Oh, I love him so much. Yep, here we go. Here's Lee crying with Pooh. That Pooh was really doing the most. It's weird because I seem younger, but I don't think I look a ton different. It's just kind of the way I am. Okay, I feel like I'm going to end this now because I don't know how interesting it really is. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, give it a thumbs up. I will say I thought that they were going to be worse than they are. Like they're by no means good vlogs in the sense that I don't really expect anyone who wasn't part of them to watch them because they're not like that great quality. But I can quite happily watch them and enjoy them for the memories, which is the primary reason I was vlogging that first program. It's also apparent from the views that it definitely has had a lot of people watching them after my program because I know when I was on it, the max they would get is like 300 views. So if you've gone back and watched them thinking you're getting more quality content, um, I apologize, but I will say they are possible. So sorry, former M, I thought they were gonna be trash. They're actually just kind of like, fine, yeah. <laughs> um, subscribe for more videos, of course, like always. Hopefully I will be making some more Disney vlogs soon. Fingers crossed my trip for December to Disney World can still go ahead because they're starting to reopen the parks now. It just has to be that the borders are open for people from the UK to go, which is the only issue. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>